shoe goo canvas repair of a belt sander belt. William Hovey Smith, 2014. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and the new book, Profit, that'll tell you how to make a million or maybe billion dollar business. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. Now, we have been working on a knife kit with this belt sander, and unfortunately, this metal tip right here caught the sandy sheet and tore it. Oh! Terrible. What to do? Well, uh, we are going to attempt to repair it. And what we're going to do is use our friendly shoe goo here, which is a flexible adhesive, canvas, wax paper, and this dust as a release agent to do the repair. And I'll show you how it works. The first part of it, of course, is to release the sanding belt. Okay, that's done pretty simple. And you just slide it off. All right, this is pretty tough stuff. What we're going to do with this belt is to put some adhesive under here and clamp it down good so it'll set well, as well as put in a piece of reinforcing cloth on this seam. And that will help keep the whole mess together. Although the center part of the belt is fairly well used, there's still a lot of abrasive compound on these edges. So yeah, the belt is worth saving at this stage. So we're gonna be about doing that. Well, we're ready for the second degree now. We will show you the tools. Uh, we're going to use shoe goo here as a cement, piece of 2 by 4 game shears, these happen to be by Gerber, very good, canvas, which has been trimmed carefully so that there are no loose or frayed edges, and as a release compound, the maple dust from the sanding operation and a 50 caliber ammo box. All right, so first we're going to apply the goo to the canvas. This is a pretty viscous material, so we want to spread it as evenly as possible in order to get the canvas saturated, hence the use of this rod. So we get an even smear as best we can all over the canvas. This goo is giving off a lot of volatiles, by the way. So if you're asthmatic or anything like that, you probably would want someone else to do this. Because uh, this would probably get you started, I suspect. It's uh, good stuff, but there are a lot of VOCs in here. As you would expect in anything that has to set. All right. That is doing good. Be a little more on these corners and edges. Now the reason I'm using a round rod is so we get an even smear all the way through. Okay, detach my fingers here. If you want to coat particularly on these edges. Okay. 
Okay. So we now have a piece of glue saturated canvas. All right, like yay. And we take it and we place it over our work here. You'll notice it's cut on the diagonal. Try to keep the edges parallel before we fix it down good. Alright, so that's the glue repair right there on this side. Now you can see the tear better and how it's pulled away from its adhesive tape on the back. So we're going to attempt to replace that adhesive characteristic with, again, of course our little shoe goo here. Get a dollop of it. And ease it all the way back in there as best we can. Okay, adhesive is applied. We're going to take this and put some weight on it and also a little wax paper and some of our release compound and just let it sit here and set whilst we go into town and do other stuff. Okay, we placed our 2x4 on the corner of the table here and this wood dust is going to act as a release compound so it doesn't stick to this wax paper. You know the wax paper is pretty slick anyway. And we place our canvas patch over the work here. All right. Then we have a little release on here so that doesn't stick. Okay, Some wax paper there, and now the ammo box. Okay, that's balanced, and so now that will set. And we'll leave it that way for about four hours. It is time for the unveiling. So we shall see how our repair job hath done. Okay. That releases as it should have. That releases as it should have. Okay. Yes. There's a little lump there, but that seems to be all right. And our cloth is doing fine. It is well glued down. So I think we have a success. Well, we'll put it on the sander and see how we did. We're going to put our belt on the sander and see how it does. Okay. That looks 
good. And this is a little piece of pie. Okay, got just a couple of threads sticking up right there. Get rid of, but that's bonded down. All right, that looks good. Check the underside. Our cloth patch is doing very well indeed. Yeah. So if you need to repair the belt on your belt sander, okay. This is one way to do it. I don't see any reason why this belt shouldn't last for a good while longer. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. What? Among my prize winning books are extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, and practical bow fishing, and all of these are available as soft cover and ebooks. My forthcoming book, Profit, examines a proposition that there is nothing in human experience that cannot be converted to profit by an inventive mind and tells you how you can start your own million or maybe even billion dollar business. Now by altering the backing materials, this kind of repair can be done on many different kinds of belts. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 375 videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.